The ridiculous <laughs> continues as a company in the U.S. has seen a spike in the sales of, wait for it, the Ebola plush toy. Yes, online retailer Giant Microbes has completely sold out of its Ebola stuffed toy in the wake of the outbreak, of course. The company has been selling plush toys of uh, various diseases for years. They're marketed as learning tools for parents and educators. Good spin, company. Should the toys have been pulled during the outbreak? I'm looking at this because I thought that some of their money went into research. So well, I just if wanted... that's the case, it's probably a small amount. It's probably 1% of all sales just to justify this. But is it too soon? I mean, these, these kind of toys, if it's, if it's used in a classroom, I think because of the timing, it's even more difficult. But any other virus, any other sort of health issue, we, we've seen well, display models. We've here's seen your choice. They also, toys make, they also make plush toys for the bird flu, the black death, anthrax, and yes, even gonorrhea. Just in case you wanted a plush toy. <laughs> I know. Just in case you want what are you hug. doing with those plush toys? You're, you're not teaching kids. But back to the Halloween thing for a moment. I wonder how many costumes this year in tasteless fashion will be not only the virus, but I've seen some of them where people are dressed in hazmat oh, crews yeah. oh, and, right. and blood-stained outfits and costumes. And you wonder, I mean, this happens every year. Anytime something in the news, people sort of generate their own kind of costumes. But... Too soon, tasteless, I well, don't know Well, people seem to think they can get a pass, right, on Halloween, no matter what the issue is. And then they put on blackface and find out that's not the case. Or Prince Harry with <laughs> right. the Nazi. Exactly.